James Baumgartner, the actor described himself as a painfully shy introvert, masking the condition only with effort. Mind over matter. I literally had to do it saying, you know, if you, you can't have this attitude and be an actor, and I had to change. Garner pursued acting after dropping out of school to join the Merchant Marine. Later in the Army, he earned two Purple Hearts fighting in the Korean War. He got his big acting break in 1957 as the lead in the offbeat Western series, Maverick. At that time, there were like 16 Westerns on uh, television, and uh, we stuck our tongue in our cheeks and uh, made them laugh a little bit and smile, and I think that was the difference. Garner moved easily between television and film roles even before that became the rule for actors. The 1966 film Grand Prix provided a glimpse into one of Garner's longtime fascinations, auto racing. The versatile actor landed the role of Jim Rockford in the detective series The Rockford Files in 1974. Aren't the police on it? He won an Emmy Award in 1977 for his iconic role and continued to work after the show ended its six-year run. He shined in films like Victor Victoria and Murphy's Romance, which brought Garner a nomination for a Best Actor Oscar. I'm not a lifeguard. I don't put up film. I'm not your damn Dutch uncle. His career came full circle in the early 90s when he took a supporting role in a movie based on Maverick, playing the father of his original character. Now, well, I remember my first runaway stage. And in an HBO production of the satirical Barbarians at the Gate. In 2000, Garner was back on the big screen in the action film Space Cowboys. Why the hell not? The easygoing actor returned to television in the comedy Eight Simple Rules in 2003. The following year, he co-starred in The Notebook. The romantic drama was an instant hit and endeared Garner to a new audience. I read to her and she remembers. Garner's ability to excel in both television and film made him an easy choice to be honored by the Screen Actors Guild with a Lifetime Achievement Award in 2004. The father of two, who remained married to his wife Lois for nearly 60 years, won't soon be forgotten.